Whether you've just finished your channel work in your tutor book and your instructor has said it's time to go pick out your bagpipe or you are looking at picking up a second set or a third set, it's a very exciting time, the purchase of a new Highland bagpipe. A few things to go over when you go after that new set. First off, the materials that, are, that the instrument is made out of is, is a very, very uh, critical uh, uh, decision. Um, the bagpipes are either going to be made of a poly, polypenko, or a wooden product. In most cases, it's going to be an African blackwood. In some cases, even um, a coca bola. But um, choosing what fits you best is, uh, is one of your first decisions when deciding on a new bagpipe. The polypenko instruments offer great quality of sound and wonderful durability. A lot of pipers out there today are looking at a second, a third set and picking up a poly instrument for the rough weather and the, the more aggressive uh, gig that you want to protect your, uh, your, your blackwood instrument. Something to think about there. When you look at a, a blackwood instrument, obviously this is our lifetime set. These are the heirloom sets that we uh, look at. Once you've decided on a brand or a manufacturer, you pretty much have decided on the sound of your instrument. So if you were to buy the entrance level or the, the top end level, the instrument is going to be the same sound, same bore size, same wood quality. So that's your first stage into uh, where am I going to go with uh, picking out an instrument. Another thing that's very important is to know some of the components within the instrument when you are learning, especially if it's your first instrument. It's good to, when you're finishing up your, your channel work, to start learning the parts of the instrument so when you start looking at them you know what your instrument's going to be. Really when you are picking out your instrument you're looking, you're looking what you want your bagpipe to look like and, and represent yourself. One of the first decisions to look at is the treatment of the wood surface where we have a, possibly a plain turn or the, the traditional combed and beaded. There are a number of metals used in the accent of the bagpipe where we have things like alloy, nickel, and possibly even silver, and in some cases engraved, which make for a very handsome instrument. The projecting mounts on an instrument can be made also out of a number of different materials from imitation ivory, mopani, and even blackwood. There are a few parts on the pipe that you should make yourself familiar with when looking to purchase an instrument. First off, we have the ferrules in these two locations on the drones, the pro projecting mounts or mounts, the slides on the tuning pins, and then also the ring caps. As was stated, there are a number of parts on the, on the bagpipe that we need to make ourselves familiar with when we decide to order a new set of pipes. So if you have questions, feel free to call us here at the shop at Henderson's. We have set up thousands of pipes and we would love to set up an instrument and fit it specifically for you.